What's up, YouTube? It's your boy FB Aftermath here, man. Or better known as Teron Beckham for my sports fans and everything. Other than that, everybody on Instagram knows me as FB Aftermath. For those who actually refer to me as Teron Beckham rather than FB Aftermath are probably not my true fans. Nah, I'm just joking. But what I want to talk about right now is um, what's going on with me tonight. Well, look, we're literally gonna. What's going on with me right now as far as NFL, YouTube, um, where am I headed? Where is my path leading more towards? Now, I know a lot of you are concerned with um, the recent things, not recent, but the past year of, you know, the process of the NFL, you know, my training with the Jets, um, how things didn't follow through. Um, and to, to be quite frank, I really um, do not have an answer for you guys as to why it didn't proceed on, but um, from sources, it seems like the Jets didn't have anything going for themselves at the moment. Um, they were losing their their quarterback. Uh, I'm not very detailed with with the um, players, but uh, Kirk Patrick or not not Kirk Patrick. Um, is it Kirk Patrick? I don't know. I'm when it comes to people, I'm. I'm an idiot sometimes. But um, with their quarterback, they didn't know if they were going to keep him or if they could afford the budget. There was a lot of budget issues from, like I said, from sources, from news sources, actually, um, that I talked to. Um, and they didn't really know um, where I would fit in. And they, they didn't want um, extra publicity from it all because everything wasn't put together. So, you know, bringing me in and trying to find somewhere for me to be was just too much of an issue. That's that's just a guess from myself and from others. Um, but other than that, even speaking to my agent, uh, we haven't locked down on anything. Uh, I know a long time ago he said there was still interest there, but, you know, with what I have going on, I just can't sit here and wait. Um, I, and people was like, oh, go to the CFL or, you know, Look, guys, you know I, that would be great, but I don't. I don't have time for that. I don't have time to leave America and try something elsewhere. I, I love. I mean, I love football. I love playing it, and um, you know, I'm just like, it's not. In, I'm not in it that much to go to CFL, and uh, I mean, I'd go play for Japan League because I mean, I would love to be in Japan, but I really don't care to be in Canada. You know, and going to Japan it would just be for fun. I hear they train, they work out twice a week and then they have their game day. Everybody has regular day jobs, and they, they make pretty good bank over there in Japan um, for being a football player. So that would be pretty fun for me because it's an experience that I would want. But right now, as you know, um, my eyesight is on the WWE, and you've seen um, you know on the news, you've seen on the WWE Network website um, that... I mean, this is really something serious for me. A lot of people are asking you, like, oh, you know, he's just, what is he doing this for? Is he doing this just for exposure? I'm like, no, I don't ever do anything for just a simple fact of exposure. I do things because that's what I really want to happen. I would have never went out for the NFL if I didn't really want that to happen. And I would have never went to um, the WWE trials if I did not want that to happen. Because time is very important to me, and that's something that I do not like to waste. Um, and my girlfriend will clarify that because she takes 20 minutes like overtime supposed to get ready to get ready <laughs> when we're trying to go somewhere. Ain't that right, babe? Right, baby. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm just like, when I waste time, I start to get aggravated. And um, so that's why I'm just, I'm like, all right, try this, move on, move on, move on. I'm always trying and moving on to something else. And, you know, something may be simmering over here. And, and you never know something might happen, you know, and come come back along in my process of moving forward. But I'm going to continue on to move forward, and I think that's how it should be. Because um, a lot of people, I saw a lot of comments were like, "Oh, Toronto's just hopping around from one thing to the another." And like, "Oh, what's next?" Like, "Fuck, if the WWE thing work out. Fuck, I go to CrossFit Games, and I'll I'll go trial for Ninja Warrior. I'll go trial for Beast Beast whatever what Beast whatever that that new show is on YouTube." Do whatever I can to stay active, stay competitive, stay busy, and um, get myself out there. And because there, those are things that I want to do, and um, and I, I just think that's what life's about. You know, take risks, 
uh, get out there and try things because you'll never know what you're capable of until you put yourself in that situation. So um, that's with that right now. Um, my tryouts went great. Everything went great. Um, um, don't really know for sure what's going on. I'm staying positive about it. It told me to stay positive about it. And, um, you know, possibly, you know, I might get something later on um, this year about with, with possibly, you know, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. Nothing's really clear right now. They don't know where to put me, but I'm staying positive about it. I have a good feeling about it. You guys should too. And that's all that matters. Um, I just got to find out what my wrestling thing will be. Should I keep the aftermath or should I go for like something extra action Jackson? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, guys, just stay positive. Um, have faith. Like I have faith in you guys to make gains, be positive, spread the love, um, and be, you You know, um, anyways, back where we going, where we going, where we going. So yeah, uh, I'm still in training for that. And yes, baby. <laughs> Beautiful, that's your best face. It's my best face. You're so handsome. <laughs> I fell in love with that face. I fell in love with that face. Watch out for the reflection of oh. the glass. <coughs> now, nah, anyways. Um, damn, what was I talking about? You interrupted me! Oh. Spread love. Oh, spread bad. love and positivity. <laughs> um, yeah. Keep it 100, A Clan, because that's what we're about. You know, I uh, got some awesome collabs coming up. I don't want to say with who, but they're very known people that you guys should be excited about. I know me and Nick Bear, because y'all, y'all, I mean, I can say his name, because y'all already seen us collab. I got one with him tomorrow. Um, and then some big name people, you know what I'm saying? I'm really focusing on some big things right now um, as my channel is starting to grow. 100,000. 100, Much love. Appreciate it. With 110,000 now awesome and um you know a lot of people are starting to notice uh, people that i reached out to before they're starting to see the growth and wanting to do things with me uh which is typical you know if you're a bigger channel and you see a little channel you really don't want to do anything with them because you don't see the benefit out of it but i mean it's sad but that's how the game is um it's levels to this shit boy you when you're on that level yeah they're gonna come to you trust me they gonna come to you uh, another thing I want to add um, on my recent video my last video uh, second to last I was talking about vlogging um, and how a lot of you should get started with doing something some type of content now because I know I have a lot of young um, fans and I think it's a great investment for you now specifically because I, I can't imagine where I would be if I started this like five years ago when I was like you know, um, 19 or whatever you know, I could be like half a mil, a mil. I'd probably be like a mil. I'd probably be like over a mil right now, yo. 19, I was more like reckless when I was 19. So, I was like shameless, more shameless. But anyways, um, doing that. And, I mean, you never know. Even if it's like once a week or something. Something you could just do once a week or three times a month or whatever. Um, something just to build on. By the time you're my age, it's like you will already have something on the side for yourself um you know f financially a little bit um and um you'll be your own brand and if you're an interesting person whatever i mean i'm not that very interesting i'm kind of weird at times um for, I, I, to be honest i'm shy most of the time but um you just got to do something for yourself and you know think about make basically it's all about making money doing what you love being yourself and doing what you love and that's one thing that I want to push on everybody is that if you're not making dough doing what you love it's time to make some changes in your life because we don't know when our life's going to end we don't have much time um, like 70 80 years sounds like a lot but it's not because sound it's a lot in a sense that yeah you know, like you know, 80 years like damn like so you see somebody 80 years old like damn you old but life stops to stop at a certain point as far as how much you can be active and what you can do and what you really want to do in life. So um, take advantage of the things you can get a hold of now and find advantages of, to put you in situations where you can get to a hold of what you want to do. 
So uh, that's basically it right now. All I want to say to you guys. So appreciate you. New website is up, aclan.fitness. Make sure you check it out. Got my new Ultimate Athlete program. Please give it a try. Increase your vertical, increase your, your uh, bench, speed, um, agility, every, endurance, especially endurance. I really focus on endurance on this. Um, so you can get right, not just externally, but internally, because a lot of us forget about that. So, what are you doing? Oh, no, no, no. Much love. Peace. Thank you.